Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands is Soishi, the latest collection of stories from Jinji Ito. Uh, this was a hot, 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 hot item at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, uh, Ito had a, a, a display of his artwork uh, at uh, the convention that was a really popular thing to check out. There was actually some art of his on the floor as well. And they had an early copy, uh, early copies of this uh, for sale, and it was regularly selling out. So uh, it, was, it was kind of a Junji Ito's show in many ways. Uh, so I've been excited for this release um, since it's been announced because I've, I've turned into a Junji Ito fan. Uh, and for those who know our site and watch my videos, you know I'm not the biggest horror fan, so for me to say I like, I'm like i digging what uh, has been released, uh, it says a lot. Uh, it's really interesting horror. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, again, I'm not a horror fan. Uh, there's some I like to give kind of an idea of, of the type, like Scream, the original Saw, um, Paranormal Activity, just kind of like disturbing, um, disturbing stuff that's not necessarily like super gory. And I feel like that's kind of uh, Junji Ito's style. It's rather disturbing. It's more psychological. Uh, the imagery is weird, um, but not gory generally. Uh, and the story is about this boy, or this collection is about this name, uh, boy named Soishi, uh, who is the second son of the, uh, I think it's Su Suji family. Um, he chews on nails, he spits them out, and he puts curses on people. Uh, he's generally really weird and very creepy. Uh, and it's a series of a bunch of short stories involving him. Uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's ten stories total, all of which are very weird. And I think weird is the best way to sum it up. Like, nothing is scary. It's all kind of just, dis like, not even disturbing, just off. And I think that's kind of the best way to put it. It's a really interesting collection, um, all surrounding this boy, and, and Ito calls him a, an anti-hero. I just really call him a brat that needs to be slapped you know, across the face. And I think that's kind of what bothered me throughout the reading this, is this, the stories are good, but like no point does it really feel like anyone's stopping and be like, dude, this kid just needs to be get the crap beat out of him. Like, he is a brat. He is doing all these things, and everyone just kind of laughs it off. And it's it's weird because of that. Like, there's something that doesn't sit right for me storytelling. Um, it's not a short story where, you know, bad things happen, and, you know, the story just kind of, like, ends, or the, the, the villain or the cause of it kind of, like, disappears. These are a whole bunch of series of events that Soishi is at the center of. Uh, and no one really pauses at home and really sits there and being like, uh, this kid's really messed up. I mean, like, every time it's clear he is behind stuff, still, no one seems to, like, really pause and say, like, someone needs to stop him. Um, and it's just, it's, it's odd like that. It's really, really odd. And I think that just kind of, it tamped down my enjoyment a little bit. Like, it, it's a fun read, and it's an entertaining read, but the, the fact that, like, it's very clear who the problem is, and no one does anything about it. Just doesn't feel like it sits right with me, and that kind of sums up the whole collection. Um, the stories, as I said, it's 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 just weird. Is the only way I can put it. Um, the art is is solid. I mean, it's it's Junji Ito. It, it's his usual kind of like slightly off, weird art is the best way of describing it. I mean, like, it's got the imagery we kind of like really expect from his manga. Uh, and, you know, it, it's good. Like, it, it's disturbing, and it, it's unnerving, and it definitely, like, will kind of put you at un, in, in unease. But, like, I definitely read better. Um, and again, like, the fact that just no one is just beating this kid senseless is bizarre to me uh and maybe i'm missing something like maybe there's some background that like i'm not aware of but it's just something that keeps it, it felt like coming up over and over and over again like even when he was caught doing horrible things it kind of is like all laughed off 
and it kind of, it dampered it just dampered my enjoyment of it it's like everyone around him encourages it in this really weird way so yeah I don't know what I think about this like there's stuff I really enjoy about it like I definitely can see the brilliance of, of Junji Ito but at the same time it's it's it feels like one of those movies where like you know if everyone just did this the movie would be over in 15 minutes that's what this feels like in horror stories if someone just like beat the snot out of this kid and be like get your shit together and knock it off uh, I feel like this would be resolved generally um, you know maybe it would happen to happen a couple of times based off of the way this kid acts but let's face it it kind of needs to happen it's interesting if you like Ito's storytelling you're gonna get this uh, if you're a horror fan I feel like there's other stuff that's just it's way better and definitely way better of Ito's work but it's it's intriguing it's definitely interesting uh, you can go get it. It is out now in shops. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site. So thank you, and just watching our video support us. So thank you for that. If you are into manga, if you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Thread, Blue Sky, all that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. Thank you, Kiki. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. You name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.